I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important question on inverse of function. All the students who are going in for calculus will need these strategies to move forward. The question here is find inverse of the function g of x equals to x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 3. To find inverse function what do we do? We basically follow two steps. First we swap x and y values and then solve for y to get the inverse function. So that is the strategy. So let's write down this in g of x is basically the y value. So we'll write this in terms of y equals to 6x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 3. To find the inverse, we'll swap x and y. So we can write this as x is equals to 6x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 3, right? Uh, I mean, this should have been y, so we change this to y, correct? Now we'll cross multiply, right? We need to isolate y. So at this stage, instead of y, we have written x. Instead of x, we have written y. So let's cross multiply now. So we get x times 2y plus 3 equals to 6y plus 1. Now we can open the brackets. We have 2xy plus 3x equals to 6y plus 1. We need to isolate y, bring y terms to the left. 2xy minus 6y equals to minus 3x plus 1. You can take y common, then we get, you can take 2 also common in this case. So we get x minus 3 equals to minus 3x plus 1. And now we can get y as equal to minus 3x plus 1 divided by 2 times x minus 3. Okay? So that is what we get. Now y is basically the inverse of the function. right? So let us write down the inverse of the function. g inverse x is equal to minus 3x plus 1 divided by 2x minus 6 or you could write 2x minus 6, right? No harm. It is better to write 2x minus 6. I'll tell you why. Now let us say we have to write down domain and range of this function. We are not asking for but in general you may be required to. So let's find domain and range of inverse function, right? So, now we'll find domain of inverse function, right? So, as you can see, the denominator cannot be zero. So, it's, it is x belongs to real numbers. So, that x is not equal to 6 divided by 2, which is 3, right? So, from here, you can straight away get x cannot be 3. That will make the denominator zero. As for the range of g of n inverse x is concerned, what is it equal to? Since the degrees are same, there will be a horizontal asymptote at minus 3 over 2. So, y belongs to real numbers and y is not equal to minus 3 over 2. That is the range for this function, right? So, so that is how we actually find domain and range of the function. I hope that is absolutely clear. You can, I'll provide you a link to do some more practice questions on these types of questions and I hope that will really help you. You will also notice that domain and range of the function is kind of reverse of domain range of the inverse function. So let's find out domain and range for the given function g of x and the range of this function. What is the domain here? The domain of this function is that it cannot be minus 3 over 2. So, so x belongs to real numbers, but x is not equal to minus 3 over 2, correct? That's the domain. Denominator will be 0 otherwise, correct? As far as the range is concerned, y belongs to real numbers, and the ratio of leading coefficient is 3, so y is not equal to 3. 
which you can compare range is same as domain do you see how it swaps because we swap x and y and these values are also same correct so that is how their domain and range are always related i'm anil kumar and i hope this exercise helps you to understand how to find inverse of rational functions and write their domain range you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best